بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم دس از انگلش ٹرانسلیشن آف دا مجلس آف حضرت مولانا قمر الزما صاحب دامت برکات ہم وچ ٹک پلیس آن سیٹرڈے دا سکسٹین آف جماد الآخرہ فورٹین فورٹی فائیو کارسپونڈنگ ود انگلش ڈیٹ تھرٹی ایتھ آف ڈسمبر حضرت والا از اسپیکنگ اباؤٹ the tawbah, the sorrow, the grief, the regret of Hazrat Umar radiallahu ta'ala an. Hazrat Wala is saying that it is mentioned in the narrations that on one occasion Umar radiallahu ta'ala an for three days and three nights he remained in his house and did not come out. The Rasul of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked regarding him that how is it, what is the matter, what is going on that Omar has not come out of his house for the last three days and three nights. So, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam then went to the house of Azar Umar radiallahu ta'ala an. And then inquired, O oh Umar, what is it? How is it? Nabi Sallallahu went himself. Now from this year, we learn that from our near and dear ones, people who are parbaned and people who are punctual in their absence, most definitely we should find out about what is going on and what is happening with them. Rather, This was proven from Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and this was the khas and special ma'mool, the practice of our Buzrugani deen. In fact, specifically, Hazrat Maulana Muhammad Ahmad sahab, if a few days would pass, most definitely he would send somebody saying that go and find out what's happening with certain certain person. How is it? What's wrong? Now from this year, we understand the amount of of shafqat that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had. So Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is at the door of Umar radiallahu ta'ala an and asking Umar radiallahu ta'ala an, O oh Umar, from your eyes it is apparent that in these days it seems as if you had not slept. Umar radiallahu ta'ala an then answers, O oh Rasul of Allah, I continuously was in thought about this year that on the Maidan Hashar, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would have to ask me that for so many days you were engaged in the worship of Lat and Uzza, what answer would I then give? Allahu Akbar. Now this is the Sahabi, companion of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, but look at his fikr, look at his worry, look at khawf akhirat. Now, this was already, by that time, he had achieved so many uh, excellences and so many great things were to his credit, so many karnamas. But this was his fikr for the akhirat. At that time, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did not answer. Rather, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam remained silent, awaiting wahi. In this type of surat hal and what was going on there, it was absolutely close that the heart of Umar radiallahu ta'ala an would then burst or Umar radiallahu ta'ala an then would collapse out of fear. Umar radiallahu ta'ala an was extremely worried about this that after all why is Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam not answering me? And in all of that Wahi comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah jalla jalaluhu, amma nawaluhu, wahi comes. 
نحن إذا صالحنا مع عبد لم نسأله عما مضى When we make peace with a bondsman of ours with a bondsman then we do not ask him about what has passed <coughs> جب ہم اپنے بندے سے صلح کر لیتے ہیں تو گزری ہوئی باتوں سے سے متعلق کوئی سوال نہیں کرتے دین فرام ریگارڈنگ دوز تھنگس دیٹ ہیڈ پاس وی ڈونٹ آسک اباؤٹ دیٹ یو نو حضرت والا از اسپیکنگ اباؤٹ حضرت مولانا محمد احمد صاحب دیٹ وین دی تھنگس وڈ ٹریبل ہم then when ulama would come and he was bare takalluf with them free uh, natured with them then uh, he would ask them regarding these things so when this alim came and hazrat maulana muhammad ahmad sahab asked he answered immediately without even a thought for a moment nevertheless our hazrat wala is saying that i did not like this type of thing so i told him that listen this is a sheikh e waqt hai this is a sheikh e waqt he did not just answer uh, ask you a question just like that but after much deep thought he is posing this question to you therefore you should just not answer like that and alhamdulillah he did not take any offense to that rather he accepted it well meaning that even though a person is a very great malvi but he should then think that in front of him is also a great sheikh a waqt so he should make tawakkuf he should stop for a while and a moment he should make tafakkur he should ponder over the matter and only thereafter he should answer hazrat maulana shah wasiullah sahab in that day and age what can we see about ice cream it was not even easily available on one occasion ice cream came It was offered to Hazrat Maulana Shah Wasiullah Sahib and then he may have just taken one spoon that's all and then he passed it on to his grandson uh, Makin and said listen you eat if I eat I will eat and commit sin Hazrat Maulana Shah Wasiullah Sahib's mizaj and his nature was that he never ever asked for anything never that even he would make apparent that listen i wish for this or that or the other no nothing at all and on some occasions this would happen that he would say that let me taste this year now you people also let me taste this year do you think that my taste is even uh, i can't taste anything anymore that my taste has uh, has completely left me So there's so many waqiat like this year in uh, this kitab. It's full of the waqiat of the buzurgan e din and the khawf of the akhirat, the fear of the akhirat. Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also give us the tawfiq and the hidayat of making a true toba. And also Allah protect us from becoming uh, hopeless and a uh, despondent it comes in a riwayat that hazrat fuzail ibn ayaz rahimahullah who was uh, initially uh, a highway robber he was a highway robber ibtida mein dhaka zani karte the and then our hazrat wala is saying that after that uh, he became i mean he was dhako ka sardar these robbers and these thieves he was their leader and after that he became uh, the sardar of the awliya when he stole anything from any person he had a habit of recording the person's name 
his father's name, the person where he stole uh, the place where he stole it and the date on which he stole it in a register. Now, when Allah Ta'ala turned to him with his grace and his time for Tawbah approached, he attacked a caravan and all the people of the caravan trembled with fear. Fuzail, Rahimahullah, captured all their possessions. One of the people of the caravan was reciting Quran and came to this verse. Alam ya'ninil ladina amanu an takhsha'a kulubuhum lidhikrillah. Has the time not arrived for the believers' hearts to tremble with Allah's remembrance? Has the time not arrived for the believers' hearts to become soft? Now, our Hazrat Wala is saying here that the time of Tawbah is not really fixed at this time or that time. When it comes, it can come at any time, at any place. A person may be walking the path, a person may be on a platform, etc. At that time, Tawbah, the time of Toba, uh, uh, it can be the time of Toba. Now, Hazrat Manana Shah was Sahib, If some type of qaza would go on, rather his instruction to me, our Hazrat Wala is saying that after Fajr, you should sit, stipulated, designated for you is this, you should sit until the time of Ishraq and then read your, ikh, your Ishraq Salat and then uh, ask from Allah. And then he, he had his own khas and daaz. He would go on to say that, uh, then ask from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ishraq ke waqt Allah Ta'ala se mango kya Allah miya uh, so jate hai. Tell me does Allah Ta'ala then go to sleep? Jis tara, just like how Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala is present at the time of the Hajjud, He is also present there at the time of uh, Ishraq. On one occasion, Hazar Wala is quoting this incident that uh, this what you call it. The car came to pick Hazar Shah Wasiullah Sahib at Bombay and people went out to meet him. So I also decided, our Hazrat Wala is saying, to go out to meet Hazar Shah Wasiullah Sahib. The minute his gaze fell upon me, dark dear, he reprimanded me, he scolded me. And then he went on to say, is this not the time for you to sit in the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Allah ka shukar hai. Buzurgo ne lagaya. Kaam par. Kaam laga diya. Lagaya. Or kaam lagane. Kaam par lagane ki koshish ki. They made an effort to put us on that path. And what they wished for. Allah ta'ala ka shukar. All praise is to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That our buzurgaan e deen put us on to the work that they wanted from us and they made a great effort in this particular uh, aspect in fact after maghrib he would not call for us i mean it was the time of meals but he would not call for us until we had finished what we had to do and then he would get happy and say look just see these people look at them meaning in he was so happy at that time seeing us making the dhikr of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on one occasion, it was the time of imtihanat, etc. Hazrat Manana Shah Wasiullah Sahib said, Right, okay, I'm going to take your exam. What can I tell you about that classroom situation? It was people like us who were there, and then our Ustads, Manana Jami Sahib, Manana Abdul Halim was also there. But what can I tell you? These people sat like little children would sit in a maktab in front of their teacher. And not only that, at the slightest error and mistake uh, and flaw, he would then reprimand us and scold us. The whole lot, whoever was there. So the time of Toba can be at any time while a person is walking on the street, while he may be on the platform waiting for his train. And no person knows. Kab dil badal jai. 
when Allah ta when this heart will change and when Allah Ta'ala will change that heart. So on hearing this particular ayat, Alam Ya'nini Ladina Amanu, Fuzail Ibn Ayaz called out, Ana Wahana. The time has come. And then he announced to all the people to come and take back their belongings. But they did not come out of fear that he was summoning them in order to kill them. Hazrat Fuzail begged them to come and said, O Muslims, I have repented over my actions and I am ashamed. They said, O Fuzail, if you are speaking the truth, leave our goods and depart from here. We will come and take our goods ourselves. Fuzail rahimahullah said, some of your goods may get lost or destroyed and I will have to give an account for them on the day of Qiyamah. You should therefore come uh, before me, identify your belongings and uh, take them away. On hearing these words, on hearing these words of reassurance, they came forward identified their respective belongings and took them away. Fuzail rahimahullah asked them for pardon and satisfied them. He then returned home and made it his practice to look at his register and return the goods uh, to whomever they belonged. In this way, he pleased all his enemies and opponents and was left with no goods whatsoever of this world. Of this world. He was looking at his register one day and he noticed that he usurped 40,000 dinars from a Jew of Naysapur. And he had not returned this amount to him as yet and not obtained his uh, pardon. Now our Hazrat Wala is saying that this is what you call Toba, that a person starts fixing up the past. You know Hazrat Maulana Shah Wasiullah Sahib would become so pleased at a letter in which he would read that was stating that Hazrat, I started my Qaza Salats now. And then he would say, he would become so pleased and he would say, this is the letter now. Now, you can be reading abundant Nafal Salat, but it cannot be equal to your one Farad Salat. That niyat that you make for a Farad Salat, it can never ever be equal to that. Now look at this here, Fuzail bin Ayaz and it, his Toba, but look at the theft, the, time, the crime, and look at what is going and how Theft is done from people's homes as well. Now this year is a uh, very uh, mu'tabar kitab, reputable kitab, zavardast kitab. And Kari Tayyip Saab has even written uh, on it as well. Now, now isn't this something that we should fear about? And not only that, about the wealth of people and returning it. So to the best of your ability, return all those things and do what you have to do. So much so, even if you have made ribat and of someone, then go and in their name and on their behalf, go and give sadaqah. Go and give uh, sadaqah. Now, this was the type of Tawbah that Hazrat Tanvi used to speak about when uh, people used to become Bayat, that you should make this type of a Tawbah. Nevertheless, we continue, Fuzail ibn Ayaz goes now to seek pardon from a Jew. So he went to the Jew and said, my name is Fuzail. I have stolen 40,000 dinars from you at a certain place in a certain year. I have now repented from highway uh, robbery. and returned all the wealth from whomever I had stolen it. But I do not have anything to give back to you. I've come to you to give you the right of doing whatever you like to me. You could ask me to do some work for you in exchange of that amount, or you could even pardon me. 
the Jew said, give my, give me back my due. This is what the Jew said. Give me back my due so that I may be pleased with you. Fuzail rahimahullah began working for the Jew and serving him. The Jew had read in the Torah that if a person from the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam repents sincerely, he would uh, and he were to place his hand on soil, it would turn to gold. He felt this was the ideal opportunity to put him to test. He went into his house, filled a purse with soil and placed it on a shelf. He came outside and said to Fudail, I have taken an oath. I will not take anything from you, but you will have to do one work for me. Go into my house and you will find a purse on a certain shelf. Bring it to me so that I may be pleased with you. Fuzail rahimahullah went into the house, brought the purse and placed it before him. Look at Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's uh, Qudrat. Now look at Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's Where is it? Let me just see. Yeah? Gee. Now look at Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's Qudrat. Look at Allah ta'ala's power. The purse was filled with the exact amount of dinars which Fuzail rahimahullah had stolen from him. This had a deep impact on the Jew's heart and what did he then go on to say? He went on to say, He said, Tune mere kufar ke tamba ko iman ke zare khalis se badal diya. You filled my copper of kufar with the pure gold of iman. You may now invite me to Islam. Your religion is certainly the truth. The Jew together with another 70 people embraced Islam. The Matnavi says in this uh, regard, Gar rukhe tu az giriya tar gar dard khaak andar khaak andar kafe tu zar gar dard. If your face is moistened with tears, even the soil in your hand will turn to gold. The soil in your hand will turn to gold. Now, Hazardwala goes on to explain there are different darajat of Tawbah. The first daraja of Tawbah is that for the Awam, it's a common Tawbah, simple, straight, basic uh, Tawbah that we carry out. The Surat of the Tawbah is that a person is regretful over his sins. He turns to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in repentance and seeks the protection of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Another type and form of Tawbah is the Darja, uh, the Tawbah of the Salihin. Now, in this particular Tawbah, the meaning of it is, it is of a much higher caliber and nature that a person then even goes to the extent of abandoning even evil types of uh, characteristics and uh, habits, etc. And he makes a continuous effort in purifying his soul and his heart. And the third type of Toba is this type of Toba of the Ashikane Ilahi. The Ashiks of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and According to them, their Tawbah is this, over and above, including the first type of Tawbah that we spoke about and the second type of Tawbah, over and above, together with those two, even this level of Tawbah, that they are never ever negligent regarding Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they become completely free from the effects of Ghayrullah, all others, 
than other all others besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now it is the farman of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, innahu layughanu ala qalbi hatta as تغفر الله في اليوم والليلة سبعين مرة فالتوبة الرجوع من طريق البعد إلى طريق القرب. So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentions that a type of a barrier and a parda comes over my heart. So much so that I then thereafter make toba to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 70 times uh, during the day and night. Now, toba in essence is actually return, to return from that far away place where you have gone off and gone so far and come to qari, uh, tariqul qurb to closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, the haqiqat and the reality of toba is that a person uh, becomes ashamed and feels ashamed of his sins. So this is the ex this is actually toba. It is the expression of regret over sins. Therefore, the person who then makes toba after he makes toba. And then in the future, when he has power and he is able to commit that sin, he does not turn to that particular son. And this type of toba is quite uh, arm. And we can also call it uh, the toba of the akhyar. And the Tawbah of the Khasana Ilahi is that a person comes out of uh, artificial uh, pleasures and lazat and he goes into, he enters the internal alam, Khana e Batin. He starts concentrating on that. He makes toba from the laddat and the comforts of the dunya so that he can then uh, enjoy the everlasting uh, jannah. Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says regarding his saintly uh, bondsman, irji'i ila rabbiki radiyatam mardiyah. that return to your Rabb. Now, our Hazardwala is saying that Hazrat Muna Hakim Akhtar Sahib also bought Shad Mast Ke Saath. He used to speak on this uh, particular uh, ayat of the quran e majid Now, on Tawbah there, on Tawbah, so, Ya ayyatuhan nafsul mutma'inna, irji'i ila rabbiki radiyatan maradiyya, fadukhuli fi ibadi, wadukhuli jannati. Our Hazrat Wala is saying that Hazrat Tanwi used to say that the person who is in debts, hundreds and thousands, is on his shoulders. It's on his head. He needs to re, uh, pay it. Now tell me, is such a person Uh, can he be carefree at any time or is he always in a uh, fikr? Can he be free-minded and free-hearted at any time? Never, never ever. Similarly, we can never ever be free-minded and free-hearted where our thought is always that of uh, the akhirat. How is it that 
because we are gunahgar. We've got on our shoulders this, that and the other. So how can we be free-minded? Rather, we are in the thought of the Akhirat. Now I seen Hazrat Wala is saying, Hazrat Marana Shah was Lazab. He was always mutafakkir, always in thought, deep thought, worry, grief regarding the Akhirat. Hazrat Marana Muhammad Ahmad Saab also, I saw him closely. Rather, this was the tariq, this was the path of our Buzurgan Deen. Now, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's wahdaniyat and Allah ta'ala's rububiyat, that tawheed, and to have hope in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when we do this here, also, then we would have, zarur, we would be blessed with the tawfiq and the hidayat of making a tawbah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rabbana taqabbal minna innaka anta samiul alim wa tub alayna innaka anta tawabur rahim bi hurmati sayyidin nabiyyil kareem sallallahu alayhi